necessary to show to the American people who we are, what we think and how much we care about the good of our town, state, and country. I would personally like to congratulate the Ahepa family of Atlanta for planning such an extraordinary celebration to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Order of Ahepa. A weekend of history celebration which sets the tone for the future of the Ahepa family. Job well done. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of the celebration. better tomorrow the way that these eight families created a better tomorrow for us and for millions of people in the world. Those eight people influenced the lives of millions of people because it grew exponentially. So let us think about what we can do now to do the same, to preserve it, to protect it, to promote it, and to pass it along in a beautiful way so our children can grow, prosper, and be proud Greek Americans the way we have. Without further ado, let's Thank you so much. It's great to be with all of you tonight. First of all, let's thank our MC Greg for doing a great job. And we're so grateful. Uh, for his eminence to be with us, your grace to be here, Reverend Fathers, distinguished guests, our Supreme President Kalkatas, our Grand Vice President Bulajaris, so many past and present officers, thank you for being with us, and members of the Hepa family. It is a great night of celebration, of remembrance, and I think a night of commitment. A commitment to not only to reflect on the past, but to commit to the future of a heaven. You know, tonight we do honor the founders of a heaven. And as we look back a hundred years at a heaven's first century, we see their commitment and the foundation that they built for the heaven family, for the daughters of Penelope, for the sons of Heracles and the maids of the So we do celebrate tonight. But it also, I think this is a night to look to a heaven's second century. And so I want to take just a few minutes to talk about three commitments that I believe we can make tonight as we transition from the first century to the second century. So the first commitment that I encourage us to contemplate tonight is to honor our history. We are so fortunate to have the families of the founders, to have the memories of the founders tonight. We reflect back to 1922 and the world that they faced as they came to America. They were challenged by the KKK and others, but they still focused on assimilating and building an organization of patriotism, of Hellenism, of education and philanthropy. The founders laid a foundation for each one of us. And so what an appropriate recognition to have the monument, the founding monument. I thought it was spectacular. Will you please thank the contractors, the designers, the donors, the benefactors that put that together. Terrific. 
And Michael Ambrose, great job hosting us out there. Way to go, Michael. But it is important to honor our history, to honor the founders, and to honor their families. We've recognized you, but we want to do it one more time. Can all of us please acknowledge the founding families one more time for the legacy that you leave to all of us. So to honor our history, it's important for us to acknowledge our history, both collectively, but even individually. And I think tonight's one of those nights to think about your own journey in the Ahepa family, whatever your connection to the Ahepa family. I know I think about my journey. My earliest memory of Ahepa was of one of the founders. Actually, Jim Campbell was an uncle. My mother's father, my papu was a first cousin of Jim Campbell. And I, uh, and I and my family members will acknowledge this as well. You couldn't forget Jim Campbell because he always had a bow tie and a suit. He was dashing and he drove the biggest Cadillac with the biggest tail fins I'd ever seen. So as kids, we always remember Jim Campbell. And my first recollection of the Hepa was my mom reminding me that Jim Campbell was a founder. And then for so many of us, as it was true for me, the next step was the Sons and Maids. And that first awareness of a HEPA to Sons and Maids. We were in Sons of Pericles, and it was great, both fellowship and fun, service projects, and a lot of basketball. It was great being in the Sons of Pericles. And then, along with my lifelong friend, Chris Nostopoulos, we joined a HEPA in our mid Those of you that remember Chris know his commitment that he made to a heaven. So Chris and I joined a heaven in our mid-20s. And part of the legacy of founders is the mentoring that goes on fulfilling that legacy. And Chris and I were mentored by people like Tom Conscious, John Stabatiades, Johnny Economy, Bill Marianas. When we joined, they taught us what it meant to represent a heaven and live out the legacy of the founders. And then I see it today in Marietta, chapter 519, with leaders like Keith Paxton, and Ron Sprouse, and of course, Harry Cabrez. So the legacy continues. And I think one of the commitments important for us to contemplate tonight is to honor our history by taking the lessons learned of that bravery, that commitment from our founders, and to take that into the future. So that's the first commitment I, I, I encourage all of us to consider. Second commitment is to lead by serving, to lead by serving. Now, there are a lot of different leadership models. Some it's leadership by control. Some it's leadership by popularity. In my view, there's only one way to lead, and that's to lead by serving. I think AHEPA has that opportunity for us to continue to do that, to serve each other, to serve the communities in which we live, to serve Greek American communities, not only here, but Greek communities in Greece and beyond. We have that opportunity to serve. And serving makes a difference. I've been so fortunate to see this in my work life. Uh, I've been blessed to be part of Chick-fil-A for 45 years. And it has been an unbelievable education for me of what it means to serve. Uh, like many of us that have worked at Chick-fil-A, I started Chick-fil-A as a restaurant team member when I was 17 years old in high school. And my operator and owner, Gary Geddes, taught us to serve. And he taught us because he was grateful to us, and we expressed gratitude to our guests each and every day. And then he taught me to serve by introducing me to a gentleman named Truett Cathy. Some of you may have heard that name before. Truett Cathy's the founder of Chick-fil-A. It's now passed. But he was a mentor to me because Gary introduced me to Truett. And he taught us to have a my pleasure attitude way before he asked us to say it in our stores. But service makes a difference. And we see it each and every day when we serve in communities, whether it's our owner operators that serve their communities or the Chick-fil-A Foundation, service changes lives. This is just an aside, by the way. I talk about Chick-fil-A. Do you mind me talking about Chick-fil-A for a second? Is that okay? All right. So you may not know this, but there's another fraternal organization that I'm part of. And it's called Chick-fil-A Greeks. <laughs> and it's because there's probably a dozen, 
dozen, maybe two dozen of us with all of our spouses that are part of Chick-fil-A Greeks. And so we connect together at our annual meeting, we text each other, we cheer on in name days and birthdays. Um, and so you think of Chick-fil-A as the Southern company, but when we start talking about from Zabugas to Mastukas, to Miltiades, to Balsamides, Demetriades, Ericas, Hatsopoulos, Sulamiotis, Sakas, I can keep going. More Takas. We call it Cota Filet, just to be, to be sure. <laughs> but here's the thing. You honor your history when you talk about your shared identity, and then you connect to serve others. And that's what, what, what we do with Chick-fil-A Greeks. Now, one final thought about this second commitment to lead by serving is remember that a HEPA does it every single year in one very important way. It is the support of education. And so I just want to ask you, if you, just think about this for a minute, if you have received a scholarship from a heaven, or you've had a son, or a daughter, or a grandson, or a granddaughter, or a niece, or nephew, or a godson, or a goddaughter, if you've been the beneficiary or your family of an HEPA scholarship, will you raise your hand high and hold it up? Look at all these families that are impacted by the philanthropy, the serving of a HEPA. Let's give it up. Congratulations. That's terrific. So, as we look to the second century, I do think it's important to honor our history. I think it's important to make the commitment to lead by serving. And third, I think the commitment that's so important is to develop the next generation of leaders. To invest in our youth because they will carry us into the second century of our life. Again, I've seen this at Chick-fil-A. We're in our third generation of family leadership. True and Kathy to Dan, Kathy to Andrew. We're in our third generation of senior leadership. But you know, it's when you give young people responsibility. So when I was 17 and 18 years old, along with Tom Balsamides and John Mortakis and Mark Mortakis and so many others working at Chick-fil-A, when we were given the responsibility at 17 and 18 years old to open and close a restaurant, that's how you learn and grow. And it's just so true in Apple. So continue to invest and give opportunities to Michael and Greg and young adults across the Ahepa family. Give them real responsibility. It's not for show, real responsibility. It's the only way for them to grow. So, when you put it all together, tonight is a night of transition, it's a night of celebration, it's a night of remembrance, and a night of commitment. To look back at the first 100 years of Ahepa, to thank the founders, their successors, their families for their legacy, honor their history. Let's continue to commit to lead by serving, commit to philanthropy, to education, and then develop the next generation of leaders. I think if we do that in a HEPA, the future will be brighter than ever. And so I encourage you and myself to make that commitment. God bless and Godspeed for the second century. Thank you so much for honoring Jeremy. difference my brothers and sisters this Sunday and every Sunday and every day in your life let the Ahepa family and our Holy Archdiocese not only honor the forefathers they made a difference in our lives through their example and through their service now is our turn now is our time now is the time for our children to show them and to let them know 
that they have a responsibility with us to make a difference in the world. Make a difference because without that, we are not really fulfilling the commission of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to be his disciples, his apostles, his evangelists, and his witnesses in the world. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. But today I would like to take a moment and to share with you my thoughts for the AHEPA. And of course, with the AHEPA members that they have died hundred years ago, and through the rest of the years, many others have died, and we have to give time to remember the names of our fathers, grandparents, and I have you, that they were members of AHEPA. AHEPA started, as you know, and as we have heard yesterday, in the time that there were a few Greeks here in the south. But they were believers, and they had a power inside in their heart in order to establish themselves. They were not educated. They were not holding, you know, university papers, but they had inside of them the thing that their mothers taught and their parents, their fathers, and that is that they have to be patriots, in other words, to love the country, to love their family, and to whatever they are doing to do for the country and for the family. That was the reason that they came here, because in Greece they were poor, they didn't have anything. And they came to the United States in order to work and to send the money to marry their, their, their sisters, because the, those days you had to have, how do you call that, dowry, in order to marry your sister. And it was very difficult. And 100 years later, I'm in the same place, with you all. And today we have to think of them, but also we have a responsibility ahead of us. And the responsibility is to fight a little bit time as parents and to teach our children about their ancestors, to share with them the wonderful thoughts that they had and the faith that they had and the things that they have done, although they were not educated. And today, we had a year later, we are here to commemorate them, to mention their names, and of course, to pray for the souls. I would like this to be a special moment in each family of our families, because the Atlanta I know, I know. community in this city in not just a community like the others in the United States of America. It's the community that the, our forefathers, they discovered, they found, they thought about AHEPA to be organized, in other words. In other words, to put in words the spirit that exists in this country, and that is to have unity, to work with the others, to do things with the others, and of course with your co-patriots. I would like to congratulate the lay association of AHEPA in this city, and also the visitors that they came from New York and all over the world. Yesterday we had many of them. Today they are traveling back to their home for coming here to celebrate this historical event. 100 years event were celebrated. And I would like all of you to give a little bit time to yourselves and to get together with your children and with your grand and grandchildren and share with them. Take them out for coffee. It's a special day today. And treat them and explain to them about this event that was celebrated, 100 years old event. And with this, once again, I would like to thank all of you for being today here. And I would like to thank the people that they came here for the memorial service of their beloved ones. And I would like to thank the Ahepans for what they have done these days here, Thursday, with the beautiful speeches, and last night with a wonderful dinner, and again, a wonderful speech. And of course, for coming today with Arthoclasia 
and with an emotional. God bless all of us and God be with us today, tomorrow, and the rest of our life. Mm -hmm.